Hello students, I am Sujit Acharya, Faculty of Geography in Sri Balaji International School, Malad West. Today, I am here to talk about the most important constituent of our planet Earth, that is atmosphere. Children, do you know that the air we breathe in, the calm breezes by the sea, the rustling of the leaves on the trees, the clouds that you see in the sky, and the waving flag in your schoolyard, and even the sunshine that you feel on your face. These all are the results of Earth's atmosphere. The word atmosphere is derived from the two Greek words that is atmos meaning vapor and spira meaning the ball. Thus, atmosphere is a layer of gases surrounding the planet. It is composed of 78% of nitrogen, 21% of oxygen, 0.9% of argon, 0.04% of carbon dioxide and many other gases in trace amount. As we all are aware that oxygen is a gas that we breathe in and it is also used by most of the microorganisms for respiration. Whereas carbon dioxide is used by the plants, algae, cyanobacteria for photosynthesis and reproduction. The atmosphere helps us to protect the living organisms by the genetic damage by solar ultraviolet radiation and solar winds. Earth atmosphere is very dynamic. There are times where we feel hot, we may feel cold and even humid. The Earth's atmosphere also changes on the basis of the proximity to the mountain or the sea. It protects the Earth as a blanket protects us from cold. Imagine I am giving you a cake with various layers. It will be so much tempting than to have a plain spongy cake. Similarly, the atmosphere has various layers. So are you ready to explore these layers? The first layer of atmosphere is the troposphere. The troposphere is a layer which is very densest layer and it is also one of the closest one to the earth's surface. It acts as a blanket to the earth's surface and it also helps to trap from the extreme level of heat which is provided by the sun. It is the lowermost layer of the earth. It's warmest near the earth's surface as the sunlight heat passes through the air heats the land and sea. The land and sea in turn warm the air directly above them. For example, as the students in a class aren't of same height, so the troposphere varies from equator to the poles. At the equator, the distance is 18 km higher and at the poles, it is 8 km high. Can you guess the reason what is behind it? It's just because the spherical shape of the earth. Now another example, I have two blocks. One is made up of wood and the other one is made up of iron. Both weigh 1 kg each. If I throw these two blocks in a tank full of water, which one will sink first and why? Obviously children, the iron. Because iron is heavier than wood. Similarly, oxygen is a dense gas. As a result, it sinks down and go closer to the earth's surface. That is why mountainous require oxygen cylinder due to the lack of oxygen in higher altitude. The concentration of oxygen and water vapor is responsible for the weather phenomena that occurs in the troposphere. For example, when we travel in a plane, we see the layers of clouds below the plane when we sit near the window side. You know why? Because the formation of clouds and the weather phenomena occur in this layer itself. Children, have you visited a hill station like Shimla, Manali or Mahabaleshwar? In this region, you will find the temperatures are very low. And these phenomena responsible for the temperature is called as NLR, which is normal lapse rate. It explains about the temperature decreases with the increase in height. At every 166 meter, the temperature declined with 1 degree Celsius. And that's why we say Shimla is cooler than Delhi. The second layer of the atmosphere is the stratosphere, which is very important for us. This layer contains ozone. 
which protect us from the harmful ultraviolet radiations from the sun by absorbing them and not letting them to the earth's surface. But this heats up the ozone layer and it results in the increase in altitude above the troposphere. For example, when you move closer to the heat, the heat felt will be more, wouldn't it? So the same thing is with the ozone layer. As we have discussed before, all the weather phenomena occur in this troposphere. So the stratosphere is an ideal layer for aircraft. So there is no point of sitting near the window as we just observe is only the layers of clouds which is there in the troposphere. The next important factor is ozone depletion. A hole in the ozone layer is known as ozone depletion. Let's have the causes. Ozone is a form of oxygen. O3 that is the three molecules of oxygen. Chlorine present in CFC reacts with O3 and it breaks into O2 that is oxygen. O3 being a heavy gas, it sinks down and it causes the depression or hollow in the ozone layer. It was first discovered in Antarctica. Do you know why ozone hole was discovered in Antarctic region? As in Antarctic region, many scientists go for study and research. So to keep themselves warm throughout the year, they make use of diesel and petrol, which causes heavy pollution and in turn, it creates ozone depletion. The next layer is the mesosphere. This layer consists of the wispy clouds, which are formed due to the distinction of materials. The clouds block the insulation. As a result, in this layer, again the temperature decreases with the increase in altitude. Do you know why do the meteorites get destroyed in this layer? Do you remember the incident of Kalpana Chawla, the first woman of the Indian origin to go to space? Her spaceship got entered into the atmosphere and it was destroyed. So this happened because of the friction caused between spaceship and atmosphere. Same is the reason responsible for the distinction of meteorites. The next layer we have is thermosphere which comes after mesosphere. Now the thermosphere itself has two sub layers that is the ionosphere and exosphere. Ionosphere has got its name by the ions present in this layer. The negatively charged ion turned into positively charged ion because of the sunlight. The positively charged ions then make the wireless communication possible on the earth. Due to the presence of these ions, the temperature increases with the altitude. Now we have the last layer of atmosphere that is the exosphere. Exosphere is the outermost layer of the atmosphere. It is made up of uh, hydrogen and helium. In this layer also the temperature increases. After the exosphere, there is interplanetary space. Other than these important features, you have to remember the most important thing is that in the troposphere, the temperature decreases with an altitude. In the stratosphere, the temperature increases as we go high. In the mesosphere, again the temperature decreases with an altitude and in the thermosphere and exosphere, the temperature reaches to the maxima. That's all for today's masterclass. For more such videos, stay tuned with Mind Wars. So want to be the first one to know about the videos on Mind Wars YouTube channel. Hit subscribe and click the bell icon. And remember one thing, knowledge increases when you share. So like, share and tell your friends about the video. Thank you.